Hey everybody and welcome back to OML Embroidery and welcome back to Ragnar. He is my Entrepreneur Pro PR1000E and welcome back to Crazy Quilting. Look at that. We're going to have so much fun. Now, there's videos on how to step-by-step -step digitize this, so I thought I'd do a video on how to stitch it out. So, on the PR1000E, uh, or Ragnar as I call him, I sent it from my computer because I have this one plugged in and let's set and then all we have to do now is pick our colors now I'm gonna leave these I know I don't have them on like those thread colors but I want the machine to stop and tell me to change thread and that's the best way to do it so instead of ultramarine I'm gonna do white and that's for the zigzagging and this one is white but I'm gonna put a stop on it do I need to? No, nope, I don't need to, but we'll make it white. Uh, deep gold, I'm pretty sure that's orange, so I have it set as, uh, how about I pick an orange instead of the gold? Tangerine, so that's what I've called it. Purple is purple. Deep green is black. Nope, it is leaf green. Gotta know. There we go. I just made a mistake. Now dark gray is black. So there we go. We've set up our colors and edit end and give it a minute to think uh, I don't have any other adjustments to do now we're ready to get stitching I am using the 8x8 quilting hoop with the B arms you have to switch your arms to be able to use this hoop and I have uh, hooped one layer of cutaway that's uh, the mesh kind and for my my foundation fabric which I highly encourage everyone to add on with your stabilizer I'm just using a thin you can see how thin it is piece of canvas you could use duck cloth anything kind of neutral so it doesn't show through and that is what you need to hoop so let's get started I will be talking over it but I'm going to show you guys all the steps it's awesome so let's go mm -hmm. 